today. From Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. Jimmy Garoppolo and the Las Vegas Raiders. We are just about four miles out of Lake Erie at Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. Today we've got a fun AFC matchup on tap as it'll be the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the Buffalo Bills. Solid return, nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Raiders offense heading out with their new man under center for 2023. The former Patriot, former 49er, Jimmy Garoppolo. It's another typical season for Jimmy G last year. When he was out there, he was excellent. Leading the 49ers to seven wins and throwing four times as many touchdowns as interceptions. Then the injury bug bit again. But Las Vegas, they're counting on him being able to do the exact same thing they saw in San Francisco, but avoiding injury while doing so. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Jimmy going to look to throw it on the first play. That's to the rookie from Notre Dame, Michael Mayer. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. Now second and five. A first carry for the all-pro running back. It's Josh Jacobs. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. Four yards on the pickup. Good enough to extend the drive. Uh, didn't get it by much, but bottom line got the first down. Avoiding that three and out, how vital is that on the first drive? To me, it's like the first round of a boxing match. You know, it may not mean much right then and there, but you'd rather not lose it, right? So you want to go ahead and get it, kind of establish something early, and hope it can carry through. First down throw. And his throw is incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Now a second and ten. Now a play fake. Garoppolo. And that one too wide and incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. Yeah. 
So back to back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Garoppolo. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 36. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 36. Now a first carry for Brandon Bolden. And he'll be taken down at the 34. Tackle made there by Jordan Poyer. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. From the 34-yard line, here's a second and nine. They go back to the ground, this time Jacobs. And he'll be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 27. After another really nice run, this is where defense coordinator earns his money. His guys have been on the field a long time, so he's got to decide what he wants to do to try and slow them down. Is he going to substitute some players in, get some fresh guys, or is he just going to try to attack and try and find a way to take the ball away from them? Play number nine now on this pretty long opening drive, but this is third down. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. Looking for the end zone. And that's going to be caught for a Raider touchdown. Keelan Cole, 27 yards. And the Raiders have taken the early lead on the road here in Buffalo. Well, the underdog here is showing no fear. Great opening drive. Now, we weren't in the locker room for the pregame speech, but I will guarantee you, somewhere along the way, the head coach said, let's just grab a big stick and smack them with it and let them know we're going to be here today. They may be the, the team that's supposed to be superior, but we're not backing down to anyone. And on the road, no less, setting the tone. The point after through the raindrops up and good. And that makes the score 13-win season last year and they're officially perennial favorites in the AFC. Behind that effort, continued excellence from one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. And incomplete. A drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. 
Well, that's not the way you want to start. A first pass attempt and a first drop all in one. Well, you've got plenty of time to make up for it, but obviously not the way you want to get things started. Got to shake that off and get going. Second and ten. Now the new pickup from New England. This is Damian Harris. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Throwing is Allen on third. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Divine Diablo. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Boy, he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle. And, Charles, I think they were in zone defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. Nice read on your part. And sometimes the quarterback isn't fooled between zone and man. Sometimes just fooled by the type of zone that he sees. Because oftentimes, those linebackers will vacate and run downfield with receivers. In this case, he played a pure zone and was in the wrong spot for the QB. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Bolden. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Second and seven. Here's Garoppolo to throw. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. So roughing the passer call is accepted, and this officiating crew not making very many friends here with this crowd. Yeah, we all know that everyone accuses the officials of kind of playing to the home team. But not in this case. They're just trying to administer the game the way it's supposed to be. That drew the flag. So now a fresh set of downs, first and 10 after roughing the passer. Garoppolo now. It's caught, left side, Bolden. Only able to gain a couple there, and that will bring up second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Here's a second and eight. To throw, it's Garoppolo. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. It was Vaughn Miller who shot in there to get him down. And that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football led to a sack. That's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. So the sack of Garoppolo. And now what can they come up with on third and long? He'll look to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Devontae Adams from 21 yards away. And the Raiders have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. They've got to be thrilled on the road right now. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, and quickly trying to make it 14 to nothing. Yeah, and mentioned it already. On the road, to be able to go into someone else's house and establish a start like that, obviously your confidence rises in a big way, and you're putting some doubt in their minds. And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs, and I think they're going to at least take a look at this. 
They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. After you play, so they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Carlson now to add the extra point. And we'll see if this rain affects the team's decisions going forward, but they kick it here, and it's good. So that drive, four plays. And Devontae Adams able to finish things with a touchdown reception. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. come to the line to start their next drive and they're in an early hole the first drive they threw the interception that led to a touchdown so decent sized deficit early on it is but I think you hit the key words early on so they have to decide do we even need to change game plan or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game 14 nothing the score this is the NFL on EA Sports play of the drive goes the wrong way here's second and 12. Allen now looks to throw and he can't get rid of it he's taken down Max Crosby blowing up the play and getting the sack but when you're down a couple of scores like this CD you can't afford too many plays that go in the wrong direction like that one yeah when you take a good look at it broadly Sacks are better than giving up an interception, but where they are on the scoreboard, they've got to get rid of all of that and just create positive plays for themselves in order to have a chance. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Back to throw, Allen. Going deep for Diggs. It got his man complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far and never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. But Josh McDaniels, he had his mind made up on that one. He disagrees, and he'll throw the challenge flag. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So not successful there on the challenge, and he'll have to be careful from here on out because he'll only have one challenge remaining. Ready. 
Now a first down carry for Harris. Down to about the 45. And they'll come up second and seven. Now Allen. Oh, good move. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. Evident there that he learned his lesson from the last drive. No way he was going to force a throw that time, but nothing broke open, kept it, and ended up running for a first down himself. They'll try the right side with Harris. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And now they'll throw with Allen. A quick throw there is incomplete. What would look like a march to the end zone is in a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Allen. Can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Max Crosby, that is now two sacks for him here in this first half. Well, if the goal is to get back into this game, the offense is certainly moving in the wrong direction. This is certainly a case where one team needs big splash plays right now, but unfortunately, it's the other team that's getting them. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good, and this will remain a two-touchdown game. The Raiders have the ball back, and here comes Devontae Adams to the field again. He's doing what he's capable of, having a solid game. Not, not the most amazing game. He's not over 100 yards, but a good game so far. And you just know that mentally, he feels like he's one catch away from turning it into a great game and starting on that road. And the defenders are well aware of that, too. They've got to figure out a way to not let that escalate. Keep him right in this zone here and call it a day because otherwise he can really decimate them. Better believe they are well aware of his playmaking ability. Play action, Garoppolo. And that's complete to Adams. And he's brought down. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them. But they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. 
On play action, it's Garoppolo. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Keelan Cole, the intended target. And that'll make it third down. See what they have drawn up here, a little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. A short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. Just a gain of a couple there. And that's going to make it fourth down. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. Deontay Hardy back deep. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. Yeah, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. It hasn't gone particularly well for them. That's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball without it being too exotic. Meaning you don't have to go deep down the field. Maybe you hit them on those short passes on the perimeter. Make sure you just turn around and hand it to your best runner and get out of the way. Don't cause any extra stress on your offense. Now throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. Well, this is a half where not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. Being chased out left. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Give him a little extra credit there. His head was cool as the play broke down. Didn't force a throw, and in the end, got to show off his athleticism with a nice gain to bring up a new set of downs. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. To the air, Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And he's brought down. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. But I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Throwing now is Allen. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and 10. It actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. The left side caught by Diggs. And he's gonna have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders 27 yard line. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You gotta know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. Ready? 
Allen to throw once more. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. To throw, it's Allen. And his throw is going to be incomplete. They haven't been able to stop them so far this series, but getting a nice little stand from their defense now. The intended target there was Gabriel Davis, but now it'll be third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Here's Allen to throw it. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. Picked off by Robert Spillane. And the Raiders are going to take over at their own 41. Oh, I think there was a little too much heat on that one. He's trying to hit his running back out of the backfield. Normally, you want to get the ball to them in stride. But here, this one's coming in hot. And it tips off his hands and into the arms of the defender. The Raider offense going to head out now late in this first half. And with great starting field position and a couple of timeouts at their disposal, they'll certainly have the green light here. A good starting spot for the Raiders as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. So after the INT, it's Garoppolo. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. Close there. He caught it, just wasn't able to stay in bounds. And that's where the sideline it was used as a 12th defender. You know, 11's legal. This one is an imaginary one, one that my college coach used to call Sammy Sideline. <laughs> Sammy Sideline can protect you at times, and in this case, that's exactly what he did for the defenders. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Garoppolo looks to throw. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. And he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. So the first thing that crossed my mind is why didn't they just sit on the lead and take it to the locker room? They're in good shape. Absolutely. And from this spot on the field, now you've given the other side a chance for points here going into intermission. Yeah, you changed the momentum of the game, and it's something you did not need to do. The Bills going to take over now late in this first half. And now they start in plus territory following that turnover as he'll try to get some points here before halftime. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. That incompletion certainly slows things down a little bit and brings up a very important call for second and long. What do you do? Run and try and get some yardage and make it third and manageable? Or challenge the coverage again, hoping for a bigger game? After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now Allen. On oh, the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. Well, the incompletions on first and second down, it certainly seems like a reflection of what we've seen so far in this game. The defense, quicker to the punch so far. Let's see if they can get something going here on third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Here's Allen. Forced out to his left. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. They asked him to take charge and get them to a spot where they could at least attempt to kick before the half, and he does just that. Didn't trust what he saw downfield, so he took it upon himself to get them into field goal range using his legs. That's coming through with a play they needed in a big spot.
So first and 10 now from the 30. Allen going to throw. It's caught by Davis. And they'll get this one down to about the 20 yard line. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. First down. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. The kick by Bass is good. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14 to three. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. Four seconds, all that remain here this first half as the kick gets away. Taken at the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Raiders out in front. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. This game's had a little bit of everything thus far and certainly plenty to look forward to as the teams are right back out there for the second half. So we'll get right back out there as well as we'll turn it back over to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. to continue as we are underway in the second half. And from the end zone, Deontay Hardy will bring it out. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Out come the Bills now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And they trail here to begin the second half. What's going to be a key for them to get back in the game? I think they're right there, and I think this game is still up for the taking for them because we always talk about turnovers. They had two of them in the first half, and once you start talking about if you have three, four, or five, you know it's beyond difficult to try and win a football game with that. Those have to be eliminated. If they take care of the ball, they've still got a shot. They'll start the drive with Harris, and he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. 
From the 28, it's second and five. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Harris. And he's dropped just before the line to game. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. They're able to convert with a gain of four. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Harris running straight ahead. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Allen running the option to the left. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And the Raiders pick it up. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. All these years we've been watching the game, I start to get the sense that whenever it rains out, those guys have to touch the ball and carry it. They're extremely resentful about that weather. Yeah, I'm just happy I'm not resentful that we have a roof over our heads. I know that much. Yeah, maybe we won't fumble our play sheets here <laughs> as we just saw the fumble happen on the field. recovery it's Garoppolo that's going to be caught it's Jacoby Myers and he's taken down inside the 30 give him 10 yards there and about by the nose of the football he's going to have a first down and now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two score lead in the third quarter they almost become defensive with their offense just playing not to lose I think with this team you got to figure at this point this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. The throw taken in by Cole. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and that'll make it second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Now it looks like we've got a Raider here, slow to get up. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Bull 
Bolden. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Ball sits on the 10, second and five. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. And it's caught, and he's brought down. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. Open, man, it's Mayer in the end zone for the Raiders' touchdown. Three touchdown passes now for Jimmy Garoppolo. And the Raiders are able to stretch out their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Extra point by Carlson up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. That time, a six-play drive. And it was finished off by a Michael Mayer touchdown grab. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll start on the ground with Harris. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Another modest gain there on that one. And I think, Charles, you can probably pin part of the deficit on a failure on their part to really get this ground game established. Yeah, and they've really struggled to be multidimensional in this one, haven't they, partner? Because they have to be extremely one-dimensional now if they hope to get back into this game. They'll have to do it by throwing the football and hope to have success through the air. And he's going to have a Bills first down as he's got this past the 35 to about the 37. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On the give, this is Harris. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 42 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he will slide down, but a penalty marker down as well. And it looks like this is going to be all for naught. 
So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that could be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. And here's Allen operating from the gun. And this is Cook with a grab. A swift move and then tackled just on the other side of midfield. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. They, that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. The Bills on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third down and 12. Looking to throw. Allen. Allen hit. He lost the football. Second time in this game, Charles, the ball has squirted out from his hands. Luckily, his teammate was there to pounce on it. You're right. Got the lucky bounce, able to retain possession. You know, we often talk about the combine and why do we measure quarterbacks' hands. Is that really a big deal? It's for situations like this. Do you have the hands big enough and strong enough to hold on to the football while being jostled? All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Now Allen, got to have this one. Going deep for Diggs. And he's got it inside the 10. Now, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Well, give them credit. They're going to stay and fight this out to the end. Fourth down, you've got to go for it. And they not only convert, but pick up some good yardage as well. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Back to throw. Allen. He'll get three yards on the scramble there. It's second down. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against a front that was prepared for him to try and take off. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. They'll try the middle with Cook. Oh, now he's stripped. He lost the football. And the Raiders have recovered. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd quarter. say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. So out come the Raiders. And they have to be feeling pretty good. Comfortable fourth quarter lead as they take over following the fumble recovery. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. Say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. 
So crisis averted, but now facing third and goal. Looking to throw, Allen. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Bills are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. And Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. It's up and good, and the lead is down now at 11. It's 21 to 10. So that was a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's finished off by the touchdown by Stephon Diggs. Scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the hands team for the Raiders able to secure it. The well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Jacob's going to try the middle. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. That good for 19 at a first down. And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. They'll fake the jet sweep there. Instead, hand to Jacobs up the middle. And a short gain here down to the 22. Terrell Bernard is in on the tackle. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to. And right now, they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score. But they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. On play action, now Garoppolo. And a big loss 
here as he's taken down. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So off is Garoppolo, and in comes Daniel Carlson for the Raider field goal. And quite a bit of pizza in this box. It's a 53-yard attempt. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And this will remain an 11-point spread. Allen and the Bills now. Down 21-10, just over a minute 40 to play. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. Now, Charles, all things considered, I guess that's not a critical miss at this stage, is it? No, but still everything helps when you're trying to finish off a ball game. And you're right, not critical in terms of the scoreboard and the team, but the guy with the golden foot, he knows he's only as good as his last kick. Throwing, Allen. That's taken in by Knox. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Decent start to the drive there. Of course, they need the touchdown, two point conversion, and a field goal. Yeah, those guys are into it. How about the guys on the sidelines? You see the coaches signaling, all the personnel groups up on the sideline, ready to go in and out of the game. They've got to condense their time now in order to try and get back into it. Now a dump off here complete. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. It's his guy on the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about, in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down, a nice, safe throw and a good one. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Here's a second and seven. Here's Allen. That swung out wide to Harris. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. I know it was a gain. But you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. That is caught. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout. As the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. I don't care how many times we say it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Now the question is obvious. Do you try to kick the field goal right here knowing that you need two scores? I would be thinking about if I were on that sideline. Get the field goal now, try and get the touchdown later. Another try from the 19, second and 10. Allen. Over the middle, complete. That's Cook. And the Bills are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. So this one, a victory for the Las Vegas Raiders. And this, not always an easy proposition, Charles. You had a West Coast team that traveled east, but they got the job done. And there's so much that goes into it because your body time and your body clock different from what you're used to west because if you go east, you're going to lose up to three hours, right? So is your body going to be awake when it's time to play? A lot of teams actually rehearse it. They practice it. Maybe the week of the game, they move everything up to that time frame so guys get used to doing it that way. I remember when I played at Tennessee, when we had to go from east to west, 
Our trainer, Tim Karen said, leave your watches on East Coast time. Every piece of information we got was East Coast standard time. Try to psychologically tell us what to do, as well as prepare our bodies the same way. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Buffalo.